Number one, since the negative base is raised to an uneven power, the final result will be negative. Negative two to the fifth power is negative 32. Five to the fifth power is 3125. When these two results are combined, the result is negative 32 divided by 3125. Number two, this problem is different from the others because it raises a power to a power. The second component five cubed or five to the third power contains two levels of exponents. Solve the innermost part first. Two squared is four and five cubed is 125. Now we have four times 125 squared. 125 squared is 15,625 and four times 15,625 is 62,500. Number three, since the negative sign is outside of the parentheses and there is an uneven number of them, the final result will be negative. Each component can be solved separately. Four squared is 16 and three squared is nine. The solution is negative 16 divided by nine because of the external negative sign. Number four, this problem is designed to illustrate the different forms in which a problem can be written. Three squared is nine and four squared is 16. The solution is nine divided by 16. Number five, in this problem, Solve the operations inside the parentheses first. 45 minus 25 is 20. Now we have 3 plus 4 times 20 to the first power. 20 to the first power is 20. This yields 3 plus 4 times 20. Next, multiply 20 times 4 to get 80. Adding these two numbers yields 83. Problem six. This problem is very much like its predecessor, number five, except it contains another level of difficulty. As before, solve for the part inside the parentheses first. Thus, 55 minus 45 is 10. Now the equation reads two squared minus 10 cubed divided by five squared. Then, starting from left to right, solve for the remaining exponent. 2 squared is 4, 10 cubed is 1,000, and 5 squared is 25. Thus, the remaining equation is 4 minus 1,000 divided by 25. Now divide 1,000 by 25 to get 40. The resulting equation is 4 minus 40. Subtracting the remaining numbers yields negative 36. Problem 7 contains two sets of grouping symbols, parentheses and brackets. Solve for the innermost set first, the parentheses. Thus, 3 plus 5 is 8. Next, solve for the items inside the second grouping symbol, the brackets. The equation inside the brackets is 350 minus 8 squared. Since 8 squared is the highest priority item inside the brackets, solve for 8 squared first, which is 64. Subtracting 64 from 350 yields 286. Since all of the grouping symbols have been eliminated, solve for the remaining exponential terms in the equation from left to right. 2 to the fifth power is 32. 3 cubed is 27. In order to add the remaining numbers, they must have a common denominator. Multiply 32 by 27 divided by 27 to obtain 864 divided by 27. Now the equation reads 864 divided by 27 minus 286 divided by 27. Subtracting 286 divided by 27 from 864 divided by 27 yields 578 divided by 27. Order of operations. Number one, 
In this set of problems, the order in which a problem is solved is very important. In fact, it is crucial in order to obtain the proper result. Problem 1 contains two sets of grouping symbols. Obtain the solution of the innermost grouping symbol first. 103 minus 33 is 70. Next, solve for the outermost grouping symbol. 75 minus 70 is 5. Next, multiply 4 times 5, which is 20. Finally, carry out the last operation. 12 minus 20, which is negative 8. Number 2. 250 divided by 45 minus 5 squared plus 23. Carry out the operations inside the parentheses first. 5 squared has the highest order of operation inside the parentheses. Thus, 5 squared is 25. Next, solve for 45 minus 25, which is 20. Then divide 250 by 20. In order to simplify the problem, remember that 250 is the same as 25 times 10, and 20 is the same as 2 times 10. Thus, 10 cancels out. 25 divided by 2 results, which is 12 and a half or 12.5. Adding 12.5 to 23 yields 35.5. In problem 3, we have several sets of grouping symbols in different parts of the equation. Solve for the items in the parentheses as they occur from left to right. In the first set of parentheses, we have 5 squared minus 5. 5 squared has the highest precedence within the parentheses, so that operation is performed first. 5 squared is 25. Now we have 25 minus 5, which is 20. In the second set of parentheses, we have 3 cubed minus 7. Since 3 cubed has the highest precedence within the parentheses, we shall solve for it first. 3 cubed is 27. 27 minus 7 is 20. In the last set of parentheses, we have negative 10 squared, which is 100. Remember, when an even number of negative signs are present, the solution is positive. We can further simplify the problem by eliminating the multiplication and division as it occurs from left to right. 2 times 20 divided by 20 is 2, because 20 divided by 20 is 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. Now the equation is 5 minus 2 minus 100. Solving this equation yields negative 97. Problem 4 is very similar to number 3. As usual, solve the innermost grouping symbol first. Negative 8 minus 2 is negative 10. In the second set of grouping symbols, we have 6 minus 10, which is negative 4. Since all of the operations within the grouping symbols have been performed, exponential terms have the highest order of precedence in the equation. We only have one exponential term in this equation, 4 squared, which is 16. Next. Multiply 4 times minus 4 to get minus 16. This step was not performed earlier because these brackets are used for clarity and to symbolize multiplication. All the operations within the brackets have already been carried out. The new equation becomes 32 divided by negative 16 minus 16. Divide 32 by minus 16 to get negative 2. The equation now reads minus 2 minus 16. Adding the two numbers yields minus 18.